What's up guys, welcome back to another video. But today, I'm here, I don't know why I'm so hyped, I'm here to deliver some bad news. Um, my Series Zero Apple Watch, first ever Apple Watch, came out in 2015, finally passed away. <laughs> I mean, as you can see, I put tape around it. What started happening was the battery started inflating and the display kept coming off. So I tried to put tape on it, but then it was getting kind of, it was getting kind of ghetto <laughs> um so i was like all right i have to i have to draw the line luckily i was only without a watch for like a month or two but then apple decided to be like hey series eight and i was like no series seven <laughs> so in this video i'm here to explain to you why i decided to go with the series seven rather than the brand new series eight let's get started all right so there's literally three simple reasons why i wanted to get the series 7 rather than the series 8 starting off with number one the price i paid 549 for this watch yep you heard me right as soon as apple announced it i went to apple.com refurbished boom got the stainless steel 45 millimeters space gray and or graphite and i paid an amazing price for it 549 you can't beat that price because a brand new series 8 same thing $7.99, so I saved a heck of a lot of money there. Number two, um, the design. I mean, if you put the Series 8 and the Series 7 next to each other, you wouldn't be able to tell. Same size, same display, same brightness. What's the difference? Nothing. Number three, the features on the Series 8 didn't apply to me. I mean, it wasn't appealing to me. They had a new temperature sensing sensor and I mean, I could just put thermostat away. Um, also, they had ovulation tracking, um, and I don't ovulate. So. <laughs> Are you sure about that? Anyway, so those two features really didn't apply to me. And also, uh, another thing, they have a crash detection, and I'm like, I have the brand new iPhone 14 Pro that already has that sensor. So God forbid, if I need it, I have it. So I was like, if the sensor, the temperature sensor, the ovulation cycle tracking, and then the Crash addiction doesn't appeal to me. What's the point of getting a brand new watch? I mean, on the other hand, you could argue it has a brand new chip in it, but I mean, come on, I'm coming from a Series 0. Even like a Series 5 would be a big upgrade for me and regardless of whatever I get. So yeah, those three reasons kind of was like, you know what, I can save the money. It looks the same. The features aren't that really big of a difference. Let me get the Series 7. And I had it for two weeks so far and I love every minute of it. I mean, I love my Series 0, but I think I love this even more. One, obviously, it's much faster. Every time I had that watch, open up an app, 20 seconds to load an app. And I'm over here, when I first got it, I tapped an app, I was, I was waiting, but then I realized it opened instantaneously. I'm like, okay, well, there we go. The Series 7 S7 chip is doing its thing. But yeah, those are basically a few reasons why I decided to get the Series 7 rather than Series 8. Um, I mean, you let me know, do you want the Series 8? Um, I mean, I get it, it makes sense. I mean, if you want the crash detection and you don't have the latest phone and you just have like, a, I don't know, 11, 10, 12, um, if you want those new health features and the crash detection, then yeah, get the Series 8. But for me, the Series 7 is amazing. Um, but yeah, that's where I'll end it today. Um, thank you for watching, as always. Uh, appreciate it. You know, leave a like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.